Hello and welcome to the Physics Topic Forces Lesson 3 Force Diagrams. We need you to be able to look at an image or a diagram and say whether the forces are balanced or unbalanced. So having a look at this image here of a motorbike, do you think the forces are balanced or unbalanced? Um, you have to make a judgment call really on whether you think the bike is moving or not. I'm going to assume the bike is moving. Um, and if you think it is moving at a steady speed, then we would say that the forces are balanced. If you think it is accelerating, then we would say they are unbalanced. And we're going to take a look at that in a little bit more detail. So you need to be able to label the forces acting on an object and then say whether overall they are balanced or unbalanced. So what do these arrows show and why are they different sizes? So the arrows are there to represent the forces and they are different sizes to show which force is the larger force. So on this picture of the chap on the moped, the forward force is 100 newtons, but the back force is 20 newtons. So overall, uh, the force is unbalanced and there is an acceleration so that moped will move forward. Now, on this one, we've used a different image here, but both forces acting on the car are 100 newtons. As the forces are equal, there is no acceleration. So the car's moving at a steady speed because the forces are balanced. So to calculate it, it's 100 newtons minus 100 newtons, which means it's zero newtons. So there's no acceleration or deceleration. So we say that the car is moving at a steady speed. Another example um, is the parachutist. So you've got a downward force of 80 newtons and an upward force of 20 newtons. Notice the different size of arrows. So if your forces weren't um, labelled with an amount, you could use the size of the arrow as a representation. So looking at this one, the person is going to move down towards the ground because the downward force is bigger than the upward force, meaning that the person will fall towards the ground. To calculate the force, what you need to remember is if they're working in the opposite direction, you need to take them away like we've been doing. If they're working in the same direction, then you add them together. That way you can say whether the object is accelerating decelerating, stationary or moving at a steady speed. Those terms there, those keywords there, accelerating, decelerating, stationary and steady speed are the ones that you need to use when you take a look at the worksheet and the different scenarios you're given when you need to say whether the forces are balanced or unbalanced.